Hello viewers! Welcome to Positive Poems. My name is Josie. You may know me from eclectic movie reviews and updates. This is an entirely new show called Positive Poems where I will read poems that I wrote and that highlight the teachings of new thought authors like Neville Goddard, Joseph Murphy, Florence Goebbels Shin, Elizabeth Town, etc. And that sometimes I will be analyzing classic poems and connecting them to those teachings. And today I'm going to read a poem I wrote called An Open Letter to Time. And basically it's a love letter where love personified um, expresses her, her love to time personified. Here I go. Dear Time, I'm sorry fear tried to kill you. Fear doesn't want to be bored with nothing to do. Cord attaching is not the best way of attracting. Please be my guest to start. You are the canvas to my art for which I'm gracious. I am willing to talk about anything or walk with no fear or wrath down a clear path that is nonlinear. There is debate about whether or not you are real. People don't appreciate that you help them heal. Without your existence, you don't have your sister patience. The word waiting at first hearing sounds like the worst. Truthfully, patience doesn't stab you with swords. Instead, she gracefully gives you rewards. And it is always bold to annihilate the old and create anew. When we tear down the walls of guilt that were once there, new ones can be built. Trees and bushes may burn after droughts, but this makes way for new ones to sprout. Thus the absence of showers wouldn't be so refreshing if it wasn't for your hours. You meet the needs of the budding seeds, providing a foundation for plantation. Sincerely, love. P.S. Each day it gets clearer and clearer that you that not only do we belong, but you're also my mirror and we're me all along. You're other people's enemy and my best friend, but we go on in infinity and never end. Now take my hand as we ever expand. That will do it for this installment of Positive Poems. See you next time. Bye.